Hi everybody, happy Sunday. Welcome to Confessions of Room 3428. It's technically MJ Day, but considering it's somebody very special's birthday who already got a birthday compilation video on our channel, I declare this Lizzie Day. But you won't see Lizzie, it's just Lizzie's Day. So MJ on Lizzie's Day. Do we get it? I think so. Okay. I want to start by saying that this week on Room 3428 has been the absolute best week ever. I mean, I know we've only been doing this for 11 weeks, but seriously, there is some highly entertaining stuff on our channel this week. Oh my gosh. Starting with Kim, Kim Sterical is what I'm going to start calling her. The 80s get up you nailed it and you, you know what you might be right about the leg warmers completing the look but let me tell you girl the side ponytail the blue eyeshadow the shirt that you know gave us some shoulder oh my gosh hysterical I'm just like you did that to a T just absolutely amazing Lizzie and the pig Latin oh my gosh to Okanut K whoa just like dying laughing Diet Cokeage, squirting, hysterical, you're so funny. Andy. <laughs> that cowboy hat. I went to work, and I, I generally don't play our videos for people at my work because they wouldn't get it. They all just look at me like I'm absolutely insane. But um, I did have to show the cowboy hat, the Brit coming up with his own paper cowboy hat and we laughed hysterically you did such a good job such a good sport I'm just like so proud of you that was awesome Lisa the Shakespeare not worthy oh my god so funny oh just amazing just amazing Addie and the upside down blockage I also died because I I think I was like kind of getting motion sick one of the guys on five awesome gays also had a challenge to vlog upside down and I just I get motion sick so after a while I had to minimize it and just try not to look at it it was just insanity so but you did a very good job even though the blood rushed to your head right very nice and you know the king of all kings Joshua the love of my life with your rap <laughs> wow no words just amazing made of amazing that's you so I really enjoyed this week you guys thank you so much I, what can I say we your friendships have meant so much to me and this project has just made me appreciate you guys so much more and your creativity your enthusiasm you know your fortitude the way that you go after stuff it's just individual challenge week number one because there will be many more after this was just magical it really was thank you so much I love you so we will get right down to business here a couple of questions Addie and Lizzie asked what's your favorite food you know Josh talking about his mom's cooking um, my mom does an absolutely awesome meatloaf and then she does baked Yukon gold potatoes just phenomenal my favorite my mom's meatloaf out of the Betty Crocker cookbook is fantastic I also love Chicago deep dish pizza which I will be getting in a couple of days and I'm so excited about it. Lisa and the embarrassing iPod songs. I think I'm going to have to, I wonder if I can play you a little ditty, but I have one that's called Teenage Dirtbag by a band called Weedus and it's always been like a guilty pleasure song. I love it. It's good but it's embarrassing. Josh and Eric, 
I watched your extra. I did, and I laughed, and I found Eric on Facebook. So I did 50% of the challenge, and I did it without looking at Josh's Facebook. So I'm very proud of myself. However, I went to Google and Googled some English to French translators because I was going to try to do my opening in French, but I took Spanish and I don't understand French at all. Not at all. I couldn't find a website that would let me like <laughs> type in the phrase and then hit play and it would like play what it's supposed to sound like. So, um, parlez-vous français? Um, <laughs> how's about, uh, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? <laughs> Okay, okay, that's all the French I know. Thank you. I would I would get really far in France with voulez-vous coucher avec moi, I'm sure. I also wanted to mention that I think that Josh has a very fair point that Andy should get to challenge not only Lizzie, but Addie. So Addie will have two challenges this week. Um, I think everybody should weigh in on this decision, but seriously, that challenge was evil cute and hysterical but evil and not very nice so I think that along with Addie's spectacular iambic pentameter I think she should also have another challenge from Andy two for one that's what you get when you get together with other room 3428ers and get a little vicious yep yeah, mm -hmm, that'll teach you okay the last two orders of business this week my challenge for Josh, should you choose to accept it, would be to introduce the world and Room 3428 to Farrah Lewin. Farrah Lewin is the gossip columnist for the upcoming LeakyCon newsletter. And Josh, I know that that is a hard challenge, difficult. So, um, you know, you don't have to do the leg shaving and the nylons and stuff. Um, just everything we can see. So, like, from the chest up. So, generally, hair, makeup, maybe, shirt. I'm looking very much forward to meeting Miss Fair Lewin. And I hope that you find that challenge acceptable. Um, I would like to do a question for the week because nobody is going to have challenges considering we're challenging backwards. And my question for the week is going to go back to um, bring us back to some Harry Potter questions because we haven't had one of those in a while. And I was in the corner booth today having a chat about Harry's mentors and it was a fantastic chat. It was totally awesome and it really got me thinking about a lot of things. So I'm going to ask you guys, who do you think Harry's greatest influence was? And who do you think Harry's worst influence was? Um, I have so many things to say about that, but this is going to be a very long thing. So since we don't have that many questions this week, I will answer that my own question in next week's vlog. Okay, so... Love you guys. Also, wanted to give a shout out to Melissa Anelli who put Josh's video up on her blog, which is penbitten.com. If you guys don't follow her there, it's her own personal blog. And it was just really cute what she said. She was just like, she said, you know, if you ever want to check out how deep the bonds go between the leaky staff, then his video is definitely a way to see how real our friendships are so um thanks for doing that melissa because it's very true we love each other very much and it's something that you know keeps us together and we laugh and we cry and we are always there for each other um i just want to thank you for posting that because it was pretty cool also i was google chatting with addy hi addy and she says hello to everybody and she'll see you on friday Maybe before that, if she vlogs with Lizzie again. Talk to you guys later. Have a good week. Love you so much. Bye.